Watersheds. We all live in one and consequently are all affected by their health. A watershed is simply an area of land where all of the water that falls in it and drains off of it goes to a common outlet. In a completely natural environment, watersheds meander to a low point, which in our case is the Pacific Ocean. Watersheds filter pollutants from water while providing habitat for lots of animals, as well as recreational opportunities for us. But as watersheds are urbanized, things begin to change. What the scientists have said is once you cover a watershed, any watershed, with 10 to 15 percent of impervious surfaces, usually a company with urban development, you're going to get degradation in both water quality and habitat. With the amount of impervious surface coverage of the four major watersheds in the city ranging from 20 to nearly 50 percent, creek degradation used to be a fact of life. Water quality was pretty impacted. The, at Arroyo Borough Beach, there were a lot of water quality warnings and we had high nutrient levels in some of the different um, creek locations that we tested. In the fall of 2000, Santa Barbara's concerned about the poor condition of our creeks and ocean proposed and passed Measure B, a tax on hotel visitors with a specific purpose. To provide funding to restore city creeks, one major thing, and the second is to improve water quality in the city creeks. And people got galvanized around the idea of, is there a way we can try to clean these creeks up and improve water quality and improve habitat? In the 17 years since, the city's creeks division has found many ways to do just that. To provide an example, let's take a look at the Arroyo Borough watershed. Arroyo Borough isn't that different from our other developed watersheds in terms of the types of pollutants we're concerned about and even the quantities of pollutants that we're concerned about. But Arroyo Borough do does offer much more opportunity for restoration and water quality improvement than some of our more developed areas like Mission Creek. What's great about the Arroyo Borough watershed is that we now have projects from almost the top of the city part of the watershed to the bottom by the estuary. At the upper section of the watershed within the city is the Barger Canyon project, a restoration project completed late last year. And that was a 14 acre parcel that the city purchased in order to preserve it, prevent development and basically restore the creek section there because it included over 2,000 linear feet of creek channel and it's in the upper watershed where you're near other good habitat. The midsection of the watershed is smack dab in the center of town and therefore is covered in a lot of impermeable surfaces. But there's one large exception, the Santa Barbara Golf Club. The Creeks Division took full advantage of this space in the Upper Las Positas Creek Restoration and Stormwater Management Project. We did over five acres of restoration on the golf course, planted close to 10,000 plants, restored uh, three separate little creek channels, and then installed two basins to try to improve water quality, detention basins. And, th and they serve as wetlands year, pretty much year round. They're pretty important for wildlife now. A lot of birds use them, and so they're, they're really good, and they actually help out with water quality. They slow the water down, they reduce the sediment load downstream, and we do think that they're able to take up some of the nitrogen and, and fertilizers that are used on the golf course also. One, two, three, yay! At the bottom of the watershed lies one of the first projects done by the Creeks Division, the Arroyo Borough and Mesa Creek Restoration Project. We removed 300 feet of concrete pipe and opened up the creek channel there, right where it empties into Arroyo Borough Estuary. And then we restored Arroyo Borough Estuary also. This was about an acre and a half project. Uh, we put in close to 6,000 native plants and again restored that creek channel. It did help improve water quality in the estuary and on the creek. In addition to the three major projects in the Arroyo Borough watershed, the Creeks Division has undertaken numerous smaller projects in between. For instance, when high bacteria levels were detected in Arroyo Borough Creek, Creek staff brought in specialized super sleuths to track down the source. We tried to find the sources of these human markers using additional testing, and that was tough because it took a long time to get the results back. And so then we brought in two sleuths, at that time the world's only sewage sniffing dogs, and working in combination with the microbial source tracking, we were able to use the dogs to find a location where raw sewage was leaking from a sewer line into the storm drain 
and working its way towards the creek. Along the watershed, the creek's division has also worked to eradicate the invasive, native choking Arundo plant. And when dog waste was detected in creek water samples, staff responded with good old-fashioned footwork. We conducted outreach to all of the homeowners that lived along the creek in Arroyo Borough and Las Positas Creek and asked them to really take care of disposing their dog waste properly, making sure none got tossed over any fences into the creek. And then UCSB was able to conduct their sampling again and we found a dramatic decrease in the levels of the dog markers in the creek. Today, the Arroyo Borough watershed is in much better shape than it was before Measure B. Pollution and erosion have been reduced, water has been slowed down, allowing natural filtration and groundwater recharge, and habitat has been restored. But the Creeks Division isn't done. Last year, they were instrumental in the purchase of nearly 15 acres of prime Creekside property in the Las Positas Valley. It's a pretty nice big piece of land, and it's over 2,000 feet of a linear creek channel. So we should be able to do some good restoration in that section of the creek. But with much of the Arroyo Borough watershed being owned by private property owners, the Creeks Division has long been aware of the need to reach and teach the public. And one of the ways they've chosen to do that is to lead by example. Sprinkled around town, including on the Arroyo Borough watershed, are permeable paver projects, which property owners can mimic on a smaller scale. For one, it reduces all the runoff, and two, it helps to improve water quality by treating that water and getting it down into the ground. And the long-range plan is that over time, when this watershed develops, redevelops, and continues to develop, is that we are able to improve water quality through getting the, the individual developments to absorb the water on their parcels and on their sites. So the next time you're enjoying a hike on Hezacita Trail, playing 18 at the Santa Barbara Golf Club, or cooling off at Arroyo Borough Beach, remember you're in a watershed, and that watershed is healthier because of a prescient vote back in 2000. I think the city and its residents and all the tourists that visit here are incredibly lucky that we have passed Measure B, because what Measure B has done for us is able to spend our water quality improvement money on projects that we think will really make a difference compared to communities that don't have this source of funding. They can barely keep up with the stormwater regulations that are required. And so we can get out in front and we can also use some of that money to put in pilot projects or conduct pilot research programs. And once we have demonstrated success with those pilot projects, we've been able to go find a lot of grant money to complete larger versions of those pilot projects.